Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can set up recurring tasks inside the contacts tab. Why is that important? Well, if you have team members who every now and then maybe miss a few deadlines or don't remember the tasks they needed to do, now is the time to just schedule it so to send them the task reminder on autopilot so that they can just hit their targets. For example, you have some dedicated VA or secretary or you do it even maybe yourself. You have to send every first of the month, you have to send your Stripe accounts, your bank accounts, your PayPal stats, all of that to your accountant so that they can type all of these things into the bookkeeping software, okay? So in order for you not to forget it, you can set it now as a recurring tasks every first, second or third of the month, whenever your stats are ready for PayPal, it's every third of the month, for example, you can send yourself a task reminder. Hey, remember to send those stats to the bookkeeper. Let me show you how you can set this up. Now you want to click on contacts on the left, tasks at the top and then click new task. And here you can see the add new task box popping up. Let's say the title is send reports to bookkeeper. The description can be Stripe, Wise, whatever Mercury you have. So this way, the person who we assign the tasks to will always remember, hey, go into Stripe, Wise, Mercury, PayPal to send the stats to the bookkeeper. Now the due date, let's say it's every first of the month. So every first of the month, you can even set the time. So let's say it's the first thing they should be doing. Let's say 9 a.m. in the morning. You can also choose to assign it right now or as we just said to schedule. Let's give it a scheduled. And then down here, you can set the recurring tasks, okay? So when does this repeat? We would like this to be repeated every single month and it ends basically never, okay? You could also set a task to end whenever you want. Let's say this is just a two months project or a three months project. You can say, okay, let's set an end date to that 1st of January, for example. Don't send the reminder, don't send this task to this particular user anymore after Wednesday the 1st of January, right? Or you could also add after this many occurrences. Let's say you've got some weekly tasks going on for the next six weeks, then you can end it after six weeks if you set this to weeks, okay? So this repeats every week and we want this to end after six occurrences, okay? For now, we just keep it at never. And here you can also select create new tasks even if previous task is overdue. This ensures that new tasks are being created even though there's other tasks before we created this task that haven't been finished yet and they are overdue, okay? Now we can assign it to a user. Let's assign it to a user. And here you could also select a contact, okay? So let's hit save. And here you can see the new recurring task has been created. You can see that's a recurring task because of this little wheel. There's two little arrows that make up one little tiny wheel right here. If you hover over it, it will also tell you, hey, this repeats every single week. Now, if you click on the three dots on the right, you can see you can mark it as complete. You can edit the task or you can delete the task. So if you click edit task, these changes can be applied to all future events or to one single event. So to keep it just very flexible, just click edit task. You can just go in and you can change your recurring schedule right here. And down here at the bottom, you can see you can either update the single task or you can update this and all future tasks. So it really depends on your use case, what it is that you want to reschedule. You have the opportunity to choose both options, okay? Let's hit cancel. If you click the three dots again, you can click delete task. Here you have the opportunity to delete one task, which is the upcoming one, right? If you only want to delete the upcoming one, you click yes, I confirm. I only want to delete this week's notification or this month notification but I want to keep receiving it next month onwards, then you just hit yes. If you want to delete all the recurring tasks, all the future events, you just check mark this and then you just hit yes. Let's hit yes and the task has been deleted, okay? So that was one option to create a task, a recurring task. You could also create it on the company tab. So click on company. You would have to have the company name, of course, already created. Click on the company name. And then here you can see this showing up tasks. You would just click tasks, add task here on the right. And then the same window will pop up and you would just follow exactly the same guidance that I just showed you, okay? And that's it already. This is how you set up recurring tasks inside of the contact tab, either in the task management field or in the company field. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.